the University of Georgia, home to the 2001 NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championships. Uh, let's get you updated on scoring. Deidre Graham vaulting with a 9.750. Utah still in sixth place. Let's take a look at Deidre's vault. She's performing a handspring pike front half. A little bit short of the landing and had to take a step there. For Alabama, still running in fifth position. Lissy Smith, though, with an impressive beam score of 9.850. Let's take a look at her flight series right here. Backhand spring. Layout, layout. Very nice. Moments ago, Jamie Dancher scored a terrific 9.975, while Georgia's Corey Fitzinger performed on the floor. Amanda, take us through the routine. Well, I can tell you by the score that this routine is nearly perfect. It's going to be hard to find any deductions. Beautiful release move. Back to a packed salto. Creative transition right up to a back up rise handstand. Dancher scored two perfect tens in this event this season. The first time she stepped on the floor at the season opener at the Maui Invitational. Beautiful. Double Arabian dismount. Perfect landing. Now to the floor, Georgia's Marlene Stevens. Nice front through to two and a half. She's ranked fourth in this event. Just outstanding tumbling. Also has been in that perfect 10 category once this season against Denver in mid-March. Ranked number four, as you mentioned. this far. Ending with a beautiful double pipe. Very strong performance by Marlene Stevens, a freshman from Houston. And the gym dogs continue to put pressure on UCLA. Now the 2000 NCAA uneven bars champion, Mohini Bahardwaj. Oh my goodness. That is obviously a, a fall, a 5 10 deduction, but it was on such a simple move. Wasn't even worth anything, and I know that, that could affect the rest of this routine. She has to be wondering what happened. How do you gather yourself back quickly? You know, these athletes train this every day because you're required to finish your routine out whether you make it or miss it in practice but on a move like that that's so simple it's very hard to regain it but she's done a great job ending with a laid out full twisting double layout the fall will be costly that was a score that ucla was definitely looking to have let's watch it again she's mounting this is a jam she catches her feet right here on the low bar, and you can just see she couldn't do anything to get out of it and just had to restart the routine. A score of 9-4-0 for Mohini Bahardwaj of UCLA. The door was cracked. Now it's wide open for Georgia. Marlene Stevens scores a 9-9 on the floor. And that sets the stage now for the 2000 floor champion, Suzanne Sears. Her mother, Betty, in the crowd as the three-time All-American gets her turn on the floor. Wait to see the tumbling in this routine. Her first pass is incredible. And the crowd loves it. You'll hear it. performing to a cut of music you usually don't hear on this network.
She only has one tumbling pass to go. First one kind of counted as two. She went up and back. Looking for a clean landing. Beautiful doll pike. Stegman Coliseum belongs to Suzanne Sears. Let's watch this first tumbling pass again. It's incredible. Oh, double back. Immediately punch into a front. Tumbling back to a double full punch front again. It wasn't the perfection this crowd wanted, but still a superb performance by Suzanne Sears. And after four rotations, UCLA, the number one team in bars, falters Georgia, a terrific floor exercise trail by one-tenth. Average scores, UCLA, Georgia, Michigan, Utah struggling in sixth. Up next, Georgia moves on to the vault. Michigan returns from a bye to take on the floor exercise. And we'll come back to Athens after this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Luke. Let's go, let's go. Yes, sports line. We start the fifth rotation. Georgia moves to the vault. UCLA the beam. Michigan the floor. Nebraska tackles the bars. Georgia ring number one in the vault. And Suzanne Yachlin's pregame speech had a premonition on how this championship would unfold. Let's really get fired up. Let's take advantage of being at home. God didn't give us both buys in the last rotation for no reason. We have an opportunity here for a reason. The number one and two teams in the country on a bye at the end of the meet for a reason. It isn't over until UCLA goes to beam and we go to vault. It doesn't matter how far ahead they are, they have to go to beam. And we get to go to the event that we are the best in the country and have been year after year after year. An emotional speech by head coach Suzanne Yachlin. She has the best in the country. Freshman sensation Corey Fritzinger, SEC All-Around Champion and the 2001 NCAA Vault Champ. I came in here and I wasn't nervous. And I just went with the flow and I was first up. And you know, I can't believe that I came away with the national title on vault. I would have never thought in a million years. Corey has had an exceptional competition today. Performing the Urchenko Arabian. Georgia and UCLA continue to trade punches. Fritzinger with a solid vault now to the beam. UCLA's Donnie Thompson. She faltered on the bars earlier. Amanda with a score of 9-4-7-5. This is another very strong event for Donnie. She's a great competitor. Amanda Valerie Condos Field told us, remember, about the heart of a champion. Not necessarily talent, but how much do you want it? That's right. This event can make it or break it. And we're going to see how bad UCLA wants it. They're going to have to fight through these routines and expect nothing but perfection. So far. She's getting ready for the dismount. A front full, very creative, and a perfect landing. 